Okay, we have uh, this uh, chapter 18 today. The name of the chapter is Newton's Laws of Motion. So, this is new chapter for you. So, let's see first of all Newton's Laws of Newton's First Laws of Motion. First Law of Motion. So, in this chapter, we study three types of motion. So, one is Newton's first law of motion, similarly, Newton's second law of motion, and Newton's third law of motion. So, in this uh, equation or laws of motion, we study about the any object which is which uh, which is in motion in a state line. So, state line ma bako kuni oda object ko motion lai study garin sa. यदि कुनै एउटा अब्जेक्ट हाम्रो यो स्ट्रेट लाइनमा छ भने यदि त्यो रेस्टको अवस्थामा छ भने रेस्ट नै रहिरहन्छ यदि त्यो मोशनको अवस्थामा छ भने मोशन नै रहिरहन्छ यदि हामीले त्यसमा कुनै एउटा एक्सटर्नल फोर्स अप्लाई गरेनौ भने सो हामीले फिजिक्समा पहिले पढिसकेको कुरा यसमा चाहिँ युज हुन्छ सो यो मोशन स्ट्रेट लाइनमा भएको अब्जेक्टको अवस्था के छ त्यसको स्टेट के छ कन्डिसन के छ भनेर हामी यहाँ हेर्छौं सो फर दिस we can state Newton's first law of motion like this. So, everybody continuous continuous everybody continuous in its state of in its state of rest or or of uniform motion or uniform motion in a straight line in a straight line unless compelled by some external forces some external forces to change that state that is state so what does it say let's clarify the first law of motion so in this motion we can see that so if we have any object and it is in rest then the rest object will be the same position while in the rest position रेस्ट पोजिसन मा भएको कुनै एउटा अब्जेक्ट हामी सँग छ भने त्यो रेस्ट मा छ भने रेस्ट नै रहिरहन्छ र यदि युनिफर्म मोशन मा छ स्ट्रेट लाइन मा युनिफर्म मोशन मा छ भने यो युनिफर्म मोशन नै रहिरहन्छ जब सम्म यसमा चाहिँ कुनै एउटा एक्सटर्नल फोर्स अप्लाई गरिदैन त्यसको अवस्थालाई अथवा स्टेट लाई चेन्ज गर्नको लागि एक्सटर्नल फोर्स अप्लाई नगरे सम्म त्यसलाई अपोजिंग फोर्स भन्न सक्छु हामी कुनै एउटा अब्जेक्ट यसरी मोशन मा छ भने यो मोशन मा भएको अब्जेक्ट मोशन मै रहिरहन्छ हामीले कुनै एउटा एक्सटर्नल फोर्स यसलाई स्टप गर्न चाहियो भने त्यो चाहिँ स्टप हुन्छ तर त्यसको लागि वी शुड अप्लाई द एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस र सँगसँगै इफ इट इज इन रेस्ट देन रेस्ट मा छ भने त्यसलाई मुभ गर्नको लागि मोशन मा लानको लागि वी शुड अप्लाई सम एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस सो विदाउट यूजिंग एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस वी कान्ट change its state so this law is newton's first law of motion so for this motion we can say that this object or particle whatever it is in the state j jasto avastha ma cha tyo testai avastha ma rahuncha taba samma yo it remains same bhanera hami bhanchu rest ma cha bhane rest ra motion ma cha bhane motion tara rest ma bhako lai motion ma lanu ko lagi ra motion ma bhako lai rest ma lyaunu ko lagi we can apply some external forces or external factors which changes its its state so this is newton's first law of motion now in this chapter we also study the newton's second law of motion so according to newton's second law of motion this law of motion states that we can state this law as the rate of change of momentum of the body
is proportional to proportional to the impressed force and takes place takes place in the direction in the direction in which the force acts so this is newton's second law of motion so we can state this law as this one like this so this is the law so this law states that so we have one of the body so its rate of change of momentum is always directly proportional to its force the force implies on it and this force takes place in the direction in which the force acts to body sangma to kunai euta body sang hamro euta body cha yo force ma jasari hamile force apply gareka chhau yaha ra force apply gareka chhau tei apply gariyeko force ko direction ma yo body le ko body ko distance cover huncha ra yesko rate of change of momentum always esma use gariyeko force sang directly proportional huncha so in the from mathematically we can show it like this force is directly proportional to change in momentum so change in momentum means it is mv minus mu divided by t so it is the rate means with respect to time so rate the meaning of rate is with respect to time and change in momentum means the initial momentum of the body is this one mu that means it is mass into velocity it gives always momentum of that body and final momentum of that body is m times b that is also mass into velocity so this is final momentum and if you subtract initial momentum from final momentum then it will be change of momentum of that body divided by t so per time or per rate we can observe this one which is directly proportional to the force so the change in momentum per time increase by one force pan increase huncha a force less cha bhane hamro change in momentum pani less huncha so kunai pani object ma object ko change in momentum per second athwa uh, rate lai hami jaile pani force sang ko directional proportional ma directly proportional ma lekhna sakchau ra yo case ma hami solve gardai gayau bhane hami le yo form bata hami le finally f is equal to m times a garna sakchau it is m m a so this is the newton's law's second law of motion which gives the formula like this f is equal to m a which means m means mass of the body a means acceleration produced on the body so here where a is we can define a is equal to v minus u divided by t so this is acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by time so this formula can be written as like this so in note we can see f is equal to m times v minus u divided by t this is also one of the formula and also this formula can be written as f into t is equal to m times v minus u so this is also one of the formula deducted from this one so we can deduce this formula from the above equation so f times t is equal to m times v minus u so in this way we can um deduce other related formula also from the same formula m times a directly to remove this directional uh, proportional sign we say that it is proportional sign so to remove the proportional sign we should write down k so value of k will be 1 for this case yo case ma hami k ko value 1 nikalera hami le m times a bhanchu athwa m times v minus u divided by t bhanchu so in this way we can deduce the mathematical equation from the given statement so this is newton law of motion and we can apply this formula while solving the question so we have another newton's third law of motion so according to this third law of motion 
we can state it like this so to every action to every action there is always equal and opposite reaction opposite reaction so this is newton's third law of motion har ek action ma hamile ke dekhna sakchau bhane we can see equal and opposite reaction so this is third law of motion so for example newton's third law of motion anusar yadi kunai euta object ma hamile force apply garyau bhane yasma react garyau bhane kunai euta action ma gayau bhane yo certain force bada hamile chai telle chai push up garyau bhane dhakelau bhane teslai tesko lagi pani ke huncha उल्टो रिएक्शन फोर्स अथवा अपोजिंग फोर्स पनि त्यसमा चाहिँ बराबर भएर आउँछ और वी क्यान से दैट यदि हामीसँग एउटा गन छ और राइफल छ र गन भित्र हाम्रो बुलेट छ भने हामीले जति फोर्सले त्यसलाई बुलेटलाई अथवा बुलेटलाई हामीले फायर गर्छौं त्यति नै फोर्सले त्यो राइफल और गन त्यसको ब्याक आउँछ अपोजिंग फोर्स भनेको त्यो बुलेटको एउटा जुन मुभिङ फोर्स छ पुसअप फोर्स छ त्यति नै इक्वल फोर्समा त्यो गन चाहिँ ब्याकमा आउँछ र त्यो बुलेट हान्दाखेरि थोरै हल्का ब्याक आउने कारण त्यो इक्वल बट अपोजिट रिएक्सन देयर विल बी इक्वल एन्ड अपोजिट रिएक्सन कुनै एउटा टेबलमा हामीले मुड्कीले हान्यो भने एउटा फोर्सले हामीले टेबलमा हान्छौ तर टेबलले पनि त्यो अपोजिंग फोर्स लगाएको हुनाले त्यहाँ हान्दाखेरि हाम्रो हात पनि दुख्छ र त्यो अपोजिट फोर्स र हामीले दिएको फोर्स लगाएको त्यहाँ पुस गरेको फोर्स दे आर इक्वल अलवेज इक्वल सो इन नेचर में हम देखना सकता यो इक्वल एंड अपोजिट फोर्सेस इक्वल भग इस फोर्स रेस बड़ा उत्पन्न भग रिएक्शन बराबर भग केस नहीं हम थर्ड ल मोशन हो सो वी कैन क्लियरिफाई दिस न्यूटन्स थर्ड ल मोशन नाउ वी कैन गो फर अनुदर ल अनुदर मोशन ओके नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू गो दिस टपिक्स प्रिंसिपल अफ कंजर्वेशन अफ लेनियर मोमेंट so what does it say this topics or this statement so it is also so in short cut we can say pclm so this is the rule of pclm that means principle of conservation of linear momentum so in this uh, law we can define this law by like this and we this one when two bodies two bodies or two particles or two objects interact interact each other interact each other and no external external forces act on the system on the system then total momentum total momentum of system remains remains constant remains constant so in this case that is we can clarify this one m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so this is the principle of conservation of linear momentum so what does this statement says so when two bodies interact each other idi kunai dui ta bodies haru ek aapas ma interact bhayo thokyo collide bhayo euta same direction ma hamile lageka chhau kunai dui ta body lai dui ta body la hamile yo direction ma move gareka chhau र तिनीहरू एक आपसमा इन्ट्र्याक्ट भयो भने र कुनै एउटा एक्सटर्नल फोर्स हामीले यो केसमा अप्लाई गरेका छैनौँ भने सिस्टममा कुनै एउटा फोर्स एक्ट भएको छैन भने त्यति बेला यो मासको यो बडीको मासलाई एम वन यो बडीको मासलाई हामी एम टू मान्न सक्छौँ र यसको भेलोसिटीलाई यू वन र यसको भेलोसिटीलाई यू टू मान्न सक्छौँ मानो सपोज वी क्यान सपोज इट एज यू वन एन्ड यू टू फर इनिसियल भेलोसिटी र कुनै एउटा कुनै एउटा सर्टन उसमा चाहिँ हामी फोर्स अप्लाई भयो अब यहाँनिर स्ट्राइक भयो इन्ट्र्याक्ट भयो कुनै एउटा पार्टमा पेनेट्रेट भयो अथवा समथिङ 
पेन्ड्रेड भाई इसको भल्यू के भेलोसिटी चेंज होता इसको ये बड़ी को भेलोसिटी चेंज होने सैंड में अथवा कुने अब्सटैकल छाने अवरोध छुने ठाव में इंट्री भो अथवा कुछ अर्क एवं फेज बा यहाँ यो क्रस भो तेला इट्स मस रिमेन्स सेम एम वन एम टू मस नेवर चेंज मस इज सेम बट इट्स भेलोसिटी विल बी चेंज भेलोसिटी बढ़् या घट स्पेशली घट सो भेलोसिटी विल बी भी वन दिस इज फाइनल भेलोसिटी एंड दिस इज अनदर फाइनल भेलोसिटी फर मस एम टू और सेकेंड अब्जेक्ट सो इन दिस कंडीशन टोटल टोटल चेंज इन मोमेंट टोटल मोमेंटम दैट इज टोटल मोमेंटम सो दिस इज टोटल मोमेंटम मोमेंटम मीन्स वी नो दैट मस इन टू भेलोसिटी मस इन टू भेलोसिटी वी हेव टू अब्जेक्ट्स दैट्स वाई टोटल मोमेंटम मीन्स वी सुड एड दुईटा मोमेंटम टू दुईटा बड़ी को मोमेंटम हमें प्लस करे वी गेट टोटल मोमेंटम फ्रम हियर एंड दिस इज अल्सो टोटल मोमेंटम आफ्टर स्ट्राइकिंग सम सम अप्सन हियर सम अब्जेक्ट्स For another final velocity, it is also total momentum after striking, and it is total momentum before striking. So, the strike one and the other one momentum, the strike by each one of the other one momentum always same ones. So, you they are equal. So, equal means it is always same. This remains same, or we can say that it is constant. Before or after one momentum always same ones. So, no change happens. There is no change in total momentum. So this law is known as principle of conservation of linear momentum. So we can define it this principle like this. So in this way we can define from here to this step to this step. So this is the mathematical expression which is very useful to solve the question in exercise. So let's remember this formula to solve the question. Okay, so this is the question based on Newton's laws of motion. So we can see an average sized apple has a mass of hundred gram. So we have a apple whose mass is hundred gram. So let's pick out this information. So mass is given, which is hundred gram, but we know that mass is always expressed in kg. So its SI unit is kilogram, not gram. So we can convert it by dividing by thousand. So it goes to kg, and it will be zero point one kg. It is zero point one kg, or one by ten kg. We can write down one by ten kg. Two zeros and two zero cancel. One by ten is zero point one. So another. The value of g is here. Value of g is also nine point eight meter per second square. It is also provided information from the question, and we have to find that weight of that apple is going to find. So apple ko weight hamile nikalnu pani sa. So we have or we know that by formula weight is equal to m times g. वेट भित्ति हम अगेन्स्ट द ग्राविटी होता हम ग्राविटी अब्जेक्ट इज अट्रैक्टेड टुवर्ड्स द अर्थ होता इट इज अल्सो फोर्स जी फोर्स ने हम जी फोर्स अर्थ को ग्राविटी ने कुछ चीज लट्रैक दैट इज द वेट अफ दैट अब्जेक्ट सो इट इज एम टाइम्स ए वाजे एम टाइम्स जी मस ग्राविटी ने पुल गए तो हम वेट होता सो एम इंटू जी मीन्स वी कैन राइट डाउन 0.1 पॉइंट वन टाइम्स जी मीन्स नाइन पॉइंट एट सो इफ यू मल्टिप्लाई दिस वन देन वी गेट सर्टन आंसर सो नाइन पॉइंट एट इंटू वन मीन्स नाइन पॉइंट एट नाइन्टी एट एंड पॉइंट आफ्टर पॉइंट वी हेव टू नंबर वन टू मीन्स इट इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन एट सो इट इज इन न्यूटन सो इट इज इन के जी एंड इट इज मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर के जी meter per second square means newton so we can write down the newton so weight is always in newton so its unit is newton that's why the weight of the apple in newton is written over here so in this way we can solve the question and mass and gravity is provided so with this with the help of these two data we can find out 
weight of the of that apple 0 0.98 newton so in this way we can solve so a body of mass 50 kg falling from certain height kuni a certain height bata kuni a body fall garego cha certain height bata khasaliyeko cha brought to rest finally to rest ma aayeko cha after striking the ground with a speed of 5 meter per second if the resistance force of the ground is 500 newton I mean, the speed of the ground is resistance force and opposing force. This is opposing force. And find the duration of contact. There are many duration to contact. Time Duration means how long it takes the time. So, time is calculated. So, for this, we can write down T is equal to what? So, 50 kg. Its mass is 50 kg. So, its unit is right kg it is in kg so it's that's fine and brought to rest means uh, its velocity is u is equal to 5 meter per second first of all and after striking finally it goes to rest it comes to rest that's why b is equal to 0 meter per second it is given and uh, resistance force of the this one is force is equal to 500 newton the unit of force is 500 newton so from this find the duration means it is t is equal to what so with the help of this information we can use the formula of this one we have f is equal to m times a this is the newton second law of motion <coughs> and this is m times f is equal to m times a means what b minus u divided by t this is the formula of acceleration change in velocity divided by time for time b minus u by t rate of change of velocity per time or per second so this is the acceleration definition of acceleration so we can write down the force is 500 mass is 50 and b means it is 0 and u means it is 5 divided by time time is unknown this is the time time is unknown here so we can cut down this one 50 tens so it is 10 and so t cross t means if you cross multiply this one then minus 5 by 10 so this is minus but time never be negative so write down force is negative here so we can write down minus 500 newton because this is resistance force means it is opposite opposite force it is kunai object i mean is ready drop gare ho bhane ya ground ma thoke pachi lagne force arko opposite force yaha bada chai mathi jane force la hamile chai opposite force huncho to chai resistance force resistance force so it will be negative of this direction that's why write down minus and here minus minus means it is plus so time is equal to this one so 0 0.5 10 5 50 second 0 0.5 second is the time taken by time taken by this body for contact ground ma contact it takes 0 0.5 second so in this way we can solve the problem here this is resistance force that's why put minus sign and when it is drop from certain height then finally it comes to rest so final velocity is zero but is starting with five meter per second so it is initial velocity or speed speed means it is velocity and by using this formula so in the place of a we can write down this one b minus u by t this is the definition of acceleration change in velocity rate of change of velocity rate means with respect to time so in this way if you put the value of all terminology we get time is equal to 0 0.5 second so we have this question now a rocket expels gas at the rate of 0 0.5 kg per second so it is mass kg means it is mass second means it is time so m upon t is given here according to the unit so by observing this unit we can say that this is mass per second so 
from the information we can write down m upon t is equal to 0 0.5 kg per second so this is the mass for time and if the velocity of the gas is spelled is 200 meter per second so it is velocity so write down velocity v is given by this one what is the force produced by the rocket so force produced by it is equal to what so in this way we can summarize the we can write down the information with the help of question so from this information we can use the formula like this force is equal to m upon t so this is one of the formula times b so this is the formula of force actually it is m times a m times a means b minus u by t but u is zero here so rocket expel garne kura ho, starting phase ma uncha initial phase ma its initial velocity becomes zero ra u ko thama zero rakhda we get the same formula m by t times b or m times b upon t so we have the result m by t now write down m by t means it is 0 0.5 times b means it is 200 so if you multiply this one then we get 205 the 1000 1000 and after decimal one number so leave it ignore one zero so it will be 100 newton so 100 newton force will be produced by this rocket so we can write it as hence 100 newton force is produced by the rocket by the rocket so in this way mass per second this is mass and this is second mass per second is given and final velocity is given but it starts from the rest so that's why u is equal to zero over here no need to show in this step and force is going to find now produced by what is the force produced by the rocket is given so force is what so from this information we can use such formula f is equal to m upon t times b so by substituting the value of m by t and value of b we get the required result this one so this newton 100 newton force is required for the rocket launch so we have this question now so deal we are going to deal this question so look at the look at whiteboard dear students if a jet of water strikes a wall normally with a force of 0.4 newton so this newton is the force so write down its solution is it is given by force force is 0.4 newton it is given by the question it is newton that's why it is force given that the mass per second so mass per second mass is denoted by m and second is denoted by time so time represents second so it is uh, given that mass per time so m by t so it is 2 kg per second so kg is the unit for mass second is the unit for time so that's why write down m upon t and find the velocity with which it strikes the wall so v is equal to what velocity we have to find the velocity Jun velocity le yo wall my strike gare go sa to velocity ni kaal nupar ni sa. So from the above information we can use this formula. We know F is equal to M by T times B. Just bakhre aami le arko agadi go equation na paani. Question na paani yo formula use gare ga thiyo. So M upon T times B aami le use gare nupar sa. So F is 0.4. And similarly, m by 2 means it is 2 and b. So that's why b is equal to what? Now b is equal to 0 0.4 by 2. 0 0.4 by 2 means it is 20. Point per se order number per se, we can write down 0 here. 0 here. So it is not 20. Now let's solve it. So it is 4 by 20. So 0. Point. 0 0.2 0 0.2 meter per second is the 
answer. So velocity will be meter per second. That's why I write down meter per second. And to remove this decimal, we have after decimal one number. So put one zero in denominator and divide this four divided by twenty means twenty two is a forty. So put decimal. Then after we can put one zero and twenty two is a forty. So in this way, the velocity of this uh, jet is zero point two meter per second from this question. Now let's see this question. A constant force of ten newton acting on object reduces its velocity from fifteen to five meter per second. Your ten newton ko force apply kar da hai. Kya produce hone velocity amru decrease ba ho sir. So force is this force is the retardation force. You decrease ba ko force ba ko naale. You force laani minus ten ma lekhu. Isko solution ma. This F is equal to minus 10 newton. We should write down minus sign. Because the velocity got it goes. The velocity got only force when it goes retarding force so or opposite force so negative forces ma apply ba goes. So in two second time is given. It is two second and the velocity is here. So this is initial velocity. First go starting velocity is 15 meter per second. And final velocity is five meter per second. So we have to find the mass of the object. So mass of the object is what? So from with the help of this information, we have to find the mass of that object. If retarding force is applied to change its velocity from fifteen to five, then what mass is there? So from this information, we can use. This formula F is equal to m a, but acceleration is not here, so we can change the acceleration like this. F is equal to a means it is v minus u divided by t. So this is the formula of a. So from this formula we can find out the m. So write write down the value F is equal to minus ten. It is the value of this, and mass is unknown. B minus U means it is five minus fifteen divided by t. So time is also given here. So write down two. Now it is minus ten is equal to m times minus ten by two means it is minus five. So five and ten we can cancel it and minus and minus. Again cancelled, so mass is two kg. So this is the answer of this one. This is the required solution of mass of that object. So mass of the object is two kg. Therefore, mass of the object is two kg. So this is the answer. So by applying the same formula as previous exercises, we We can so mass into acceleration means b minus u upon t, or we can write f into t is equal to m times b minus u. So in the case of initial and final velocity, we can write down this one, and after substituting value, we get the required term, as you can see from the question. So this force is retarding force, not accelerating force, because velocity is decreases over here. So decrease velocity उन अगला यू फोर्स से रिटार्डिंग फोर्स उन बोले यो फोर्स बढ़ने फोर्स है ना घटने फोर्स वाला बोल रहा है माइनस साइंस है यानी हम बोल रहे हैं सो इन दिस वे वी कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके लेट्स सी दिस क्वेश्चन सो वी हैव दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ अ बुलेट मूविंग एट 250 मीटर पर सेकंड पेनिट्रेट्स 5 सेंटीमीटर उड़ा बुलेट से हमरो मूविंग बाहर रखा � उड़ा काट को मुड़ो लाई इल्ले से पेनिट्रेट करता है फाइव सेंटीमीटर हमरो यहाँ काट को मुड़ा सा इस तो हर को टी ट्रांस सा इल्ले फाइव सेंटीमीटर पेनिट्रेट करता है सो एंड बिफोर कमिंग टू रेस्ट रेस्ट माउंट वगैरह इल्ले से तिति पेनिट्रेट करता है अज़ुमिंग दैट फोर्स एक्जस्टेड बाय टी ट्रांस यूनि� and find the magnitude. So, force को magnitude का क्यों निकालना पड़ेगा? Find the magnitude of force. 
So mass of the bullet is 10 gram. So it is given by the question. So let's solve this question. So first of all, pick out the information. 250 meter per second means its initial velocity. 250 meter per second. Its initial velocity this one. And finally, it comes to rest. So its velocity becomes zero. So V is equal to zero meter per second. Assuming that in uh, penetrates 5 centimeter means it is distance covered by that bullet. So S is equal to 5 centimeter, but SI unit of distance is always in meter. So we should convert this centimeter into meter. So divide it by 100 and it will be 0 0.05 meter. So this is the distance covered by bullet in the trunk. T trunk, so it should be converted like this. And here, mass of the bullet is 10 gram. We can also uh, pick out this mass, so which is 10 gram, but mass we know that mass is always expressed in kilogram. So let's convert into kg. So, how to convert in kg by dividing by 1000, and it will be 0. Point 0 0.01 so it is kg 0 0.01 so 10 0 cancel 20 means 0 0.01 to after decimal we should have 20 after cancelling this 0 and 0 and mass of the bullet is this one so we are going to find force force f is equal to what so in this way we can uh, to find the force we should have mass into acceleration but we don't know the value of acceleration over here so by using u v and s we can find out the value of acceleration so first of all we have we can use v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s i mean acceleration nikal no lagi u v ra s logo formula launa satsun so this is the formula which is very helpful to find the value of a or acceleration so write down the value it is 0 and value of u means it is 250 so make it square and it is 2 times a times and a is unknown but s is 0 0.05 0 0.05 meter so find out the value of this a so a is equal to minus 250 square minus 250 this term if you change over here then it will be minus 250 so whole square divided by uh, 2 into 0 0.05 so 2 into 0 0.05 goes to here and this will be minus and it will be 2 into 0 0.05 so we can find out the value of this over here. So let's see what will be the value. This is minus acceleration will be negative and 2.5 means what 0 0.1. I think it is 0 0.1. 0 0.05 into 2 means 2 5 is 10 and 0 and after decimal 2 number means 1 2 0 0.1. It will be 0 0.1 and 250 into 250 means 625 double zero it is double zero and minus sign over here so if you put the if you put remove this decimal then it will be 62500 and again one zero so this is acceleration so meter per second square actually this is retarding acceleration we acceleration one up retardation or this is retardation so therefore retardation force retardation is equal to 625000 meter per second square so this is retarding force or acceleration negative acceleration we can say that negative acceleration is known as retardation which value is 625000 so how much force we apply now also f is equal to m times a and we have the value of m here 
zero point zero one into acceleration means this one six two five zero zero zero. Then if you multiply this and this, we get six two five two eta zero gaya bunsa eta zero bhatsa. So this is the Newton. This is the force applied on this bullet by using this retardation. So zero point zero one six two five into one means six two five, and triple zero is here. But we have a predictable two number, so two zeros cancel from here, and only one zero is left. So in this way, force is calculated from the given information. So this is the in this way we can solve this problem. So we have this question now. So due to application of force of twelve kg weight. So look at once. It is twelve kg weight is the force, but the unit of force should be in newton. So convert this kg weight into newton. So uh, we know that we know that one kg weight is equal to one nine point eight newton. The weight depends upon the gravity. So gravity value of acceleration due to gravity is nine point eight. So one kg weight means nine point eight newton. So force is equal to here is twelve kg weight means one kg weight means nine point eight. So if you multiply it, then it goes to it goes to newton. So it will be newton. So whatever it may be, the value of this. Two billion into nine point eight means something newton, and four point nine kg means it is mass. Four point nine kg changes its velocity from this to this. So starting velocity is twelve meter per second. Starting velocity and final velocity is twenty meter per second. So write down twenty meter per second, and find the distance through the body describes. So We have to find the distance. So s is equal to what? So from this information, first of all, we have to find the value of a. If we are using u v or s, then we can apply v square is equal to u square plus two a s. But we don't know the value of a over here. So from these two information, we can find out acceleration. So we know. F is equal to m times a. This is the formula of force, mass into acceleration. So force is twelve into nine point eight, which is given here, and mass is four point nine, and acceleration is same, which are going to find. Now four point nine into two, so it multiply by two means it is. And to be able to that twenty four means a is equal to twenty four meter per second square. So this is the required value of acceleration from the given means. So in this way we can find out another result. U B and S ko use kar raha hai. I mean all ko equation use karna sakte ho. So it will be b square is equal to u square plus two a s. This is another equation of motion which is useful to find the Distance as so write down the value v square means it is twenty go square and u square means it is twelve go square plus two a we also we have the value of a so write down two into twenty four into s so s is unknown s is what so it is unknown and we are going to find this one now. 400 minus 2 will square means 144 and 48 as 2 into 24 means 48 and 2 will square means 144 which is here or co side mana la minus answer. Now if you solve it then it will be s is equal to 10 minus 4 which is 6 and 9 minus 4 it is 5, 3 minus 1 it is 2 divided by 48. So this is the answer. By we can cancel the term over here. Cancel the no such thing. Your term lying. So it will be cancel it. Then it will be two one zero two two zero four two eight zero two two zero four two four zero eight. Now 
so six to six za two thirty two za. So it, it means four three za four sixteen za. So it will be sixteen divided by three meter. So this is the appro appropriate distance or suitable distance from which the body covers. So body describes sixteen by three meter distance by this application. So by working out of this body. Its velocity after changing its velocity from this and this, it covers this distance 16 by 3 meter distance. So, first of all, apply this rule and simplify, we get the acceleration. So, this acceleration can be used in this equation and we can solve it the distance which is denoted by s. So, with the help of these two formula, we can find out the distance covered by that particle in this work frame. Now, we have this question, find the velocity of 4 kg salt that will just penetrate through a wall 25 centimeter thick, the resistance being 36 tons weight. So, this is the question. I am saying resistance force when you go opposing force, opposing force say you 36 tons weight sir, or your ton line kg malanzo. Kg ma convert also, and kg lai yo weight lai firi ami newton ma lanchu weight ma rakhnu hai na. So force should be in newton. So converted this tons weight into the newton first of all. And the velocity of four kg salt means its mass is four kg, which will just penetrate through the wall this one thick. Thick means it is the distance covered by that you know, salt which penetrate this uh, centimeter, 25 centimeter means it is also converted into meter, it is S, S means distance covered by body, that body. So, let's point out this one velocity term terminology. So, we have mass is equal to 4 kg, it is obviously given and 25 centimeter means it is S, 25 centimeter, so converted into meter and 0 0.25 meter divided by 100 then it goes to meter converted into meter resistance force means it is capital F or a force F so it is opposing force so write down 36 tons weight so we should convert it into newton your opposing force we should write down minus put minus sign over here because resistance means opposing opposite force, opposing force. When you object, it will be able to do it. It will be force and resistance force. So, it will be rope force. Rope force will be minus. Unza. So, uh, we should convert it into a tons like kg ma lano ko lagi. We should multiply thousand and weight la uta lano ko lagi. Newton ma lano ko lagi. Nine point eight newton. So, this is the solving process. And Find the velocity means it is V is equal to or U is equal to this one. Final velocity of a penetrate by is zero. It is U. U is equal to what? So U is equal to what? We can write down this one. Now B is equal to zero. But see, it's penetrate by the that comes to the rest. So B is equal to 0 in this case, B is equal to 0 meter per second. Kuni oda bullet le atha short le penetrated ga da kiri kuni oda step ma zain. Amur short on time pa zi to rest ma honi bako vada final velocity zi rahma pa sa. So F is equal to M times A wa time pa ila A ni gaal so. Now F is equal to M A. This is our formula. So we have F and M. So let's find the value of A. So, F is equal to minus 36 into 1000 into 9.8 and mass is equal to 4 and A is unknown. So, if you solve it, then A is equal to what? And it will be minus 88200 meter per second square. So, it is a retardation because it is negative acceleration because minus is here. A minus pound matlab your negative acceleration. It is retardation. You can say that retardation. 
8.8200 meter per second. So solve it and divide by 4, we get this term. Now again, we can use this term b square is equal to u square plus 2as. So this is the formula to find u. So b is equal to 0 and u means it is u square unknown. That means we are going to find 2 times a means it is minus 88200. This is a and s means we have 00, 0, 0, 0.0.25. So this is distance covered by body 0 0.25. So if you find the value of u from here, then it will be 210 meter per second. So this is the answer. So use calculator to this one. So minus minus plus and u square but u nigal that we can take out square root square root in the name. So our final answer is 210 meter per second. So this is the solving process. And here is a one thing here is a minus because it is resistance force that means it is opposite force or opposing force or a certain force la oppose garne force ne, always minus mounts or distance meter mounts converted into meter mass kg mounts force newton mounts so first of all ton ma 1000 kg unza ton means 10 quintal a quintal ma 100 unza bhane 10 10 quintal ma into euta zero thapiyo 1000 kg bhayo and weight means 9.8 9.8 मा लानु पर्यो वेट वेट ला 1 kg वेट भनेको kg वेट लाई न्यूटन मा लादा 9.8 हुन्छ बिकज 1 kg वेट मिन्स 1 न्यूटन वी क्यान राइट डाउन 1 kg वेट इज इक्वल टु 9.8 न्यूटन सो दिस इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन kg वेट एन्ड न्यूटन सो राइट डाउन दिस वन सो इन दिस वे वी क्यान यूज दिस टु फर्मुला एन्ड फाइन्डिंग आउट द value of u. So we have this question now. A mass of 5 kg falls 300 cm from rest. We have a rest position better. Um, object 5 kg mass by object 300 cm distance ma fall bhava sa, and is then brought to rest by penetrating 30 cm into the some sand. So sand ma penetrate by se 30 cm penetrate gari se si, to rest ma hava sa. When it find the average thrust of the sand on it, when it can produce by acceleration, average thrust means it is acceleration. So for this, we can solve it like this. So mass is given 5 kg right down and it is the distance. So h is equal to 300 centimeter and we can convert it into 3 meter, meter only. From the rest means it is u. U is equal to zero. U is equal to zero. U cha ani sanga mass cha height atwa the distance cover by this body cha. So we can use b square is equal to u square plus two g h. So this is the formula to find the velocity v. So it is b square is equal to zero and two times 2 times and a g unknown value of g is not here so write down same term and h means it is 3 meter so b is equal to 6g so it is 6g root under 6g this is velocity and we can apply this formula over here to find its velocity root under 6g and also we can find out the value of this one so sub, now we can put the value of this 30 centimeter means it is also distance so s is equal to 30 centimeter which is converted into meter by this one so 0 0.3 meter it should be expressed in meter by dividing 100 and find the average thrust means it is a a is what acceleration thrust means it is acceleration and we know that this final velocity will be the initial velocity for the next step. So we have u is equal to 6 times g, 6 times g. Now we can use the formula. We have b square is equal to u square plus 2as. 
now we can put the value so finally it comes to rest so b square is equal to it is uh, zero last my rest my only bag on the amine lay rest what a facade last my rest my answer a rest but from rest but last my it comes to this brought to rest my other final velocity will be zero so it will be b is equal to zero we can write down here and u square means it is six times g so root under square means we can remove this root plus two times a is unknown and s means 0 0.3 so it is 0 0.3 if you solve it then the value of a is um, this is minus so minus 10 times g will be the value of this one meter per second square so this is the retardation or negative acceleration produced by this object so average thrust on sand is minus 10 g so in this way by applying two rules b square is equal to u square plus 2 gs and b square is equal to u square plus 2 s we can find out this rule. so this is acceleration or retardation so retarding force is 10 gram here so retarding force retarding force is equal to 10 gram we can write down retarding force that is negative acceleration means it is retardation and regard retarding force is 10 gram and we can find out the average thrust over here so let r be the average here we have to find the average thrust here so r be the average thrust average thrust of the sand of the sand on it on it then we can apply r is equal to mg plus ma so this is the formula of average thrust r is equal to mg plus ma so r is equal to mg plus ma ma we can it is a yota lift or thua kuni sort and other portion zain and zain chali rabo so it is dynamic or it is moving then Mathi lagni force jun chamro yo reaction yo normal reaction lagni r lekson normal reaction la r lekson ra yo force barabar hamro tala lagego force huncha yo dui ta force barabar huncha r is equal to f huncha athwa f bhaneko ma huncha r ra ma barabar huncha hai r ra ma barabar huncha tara yo reaction lai normal reaction lai weight le pani ya balance gareko huncha manchi yo weight यो माथि को पुलिंग फोर्स भनेको हाम्रो यो हो यो पुलिंग फोर्स मा चाहिँ क्यापिटल आर बाट आर र एम ए हाम्रो बराबर हुन्छ दे दे आर इक्वल दिस फोर्स इक्वल टु दिस फोर्स बट दिस नर्मल रिएक्शन इज आल्सो अपोजिंग बाइ वेट यहाँ नेर एउटा वेट हुन्छ वेट भनेको एम जी हुन्छ वेट ले पनि यसलाई चाहिँ के गरेको हुन्छ तल पुलिंग गरिरहेको हुन्छ त्यही भएर टोटल नर्मल रिएक्शन विल बी आर माइनस एम जी so this will be the formula of thrust kune pani hamro object ma dui ta two way bata yesari force apply bhako cha bhane total r ko lagi chai weight le pani yela chai balance garne bhako nale total yo force bada yo ghatau nu parcha total r minus mg garnu parcha le mathi tan le tala tan da khel yo weight minus huncha esma ra ma bhaneko yo ra yo barabar garna ko lagi hamile force sanga yo reaction equal lekhnu parcha so mg la eta lane bittike we will get mg plus ma this is the formula to find the average thrust so we can substitute over here m means it is 5 times g plus m means also 5 times a means it is a means 10 g so it is 10 g and it will be 50 plus 5 means it is 55 g and if you if you convert it into kg weight then 55 kg weight is the conversion of this reaction so normal reaction will be 55 kg weight by converting this gram into kg weight so in this way by using this average thrust formula or normal reaction r is equal to mg plus ma and substituting this value we get 55 gram and gram converted into kg weight so in this way we can find